in medical school, we only had one lecture in occupational medicine, and I was naive. I started medical school. I thought that's what you studied in medical school. You studied what makes people sick. And I knew from just my family and friends that people went to work and they had trouble and they got sick. Um, and I actually investigated going into occupational medicine at the end of my first year and discovered that there was only one or two residencies in the country. Despite the recognized oversupply in most specialties in medicine, occupational medicine is an absolutely well-documented shortage area. There are only about 1,500 certified specialists in occupational medicine in this country. The creation of NIOSH-funded educational resource centers across the nation began to remedy the lack of medical residency and other occupational health training programs. These centers, now numbering 14, have graduated over 7,000 professionals in occupational medicine, nursing, industrial hygiene, and safety. Many provide access to medical care in remote areas. With this trailer, this enables us to go where the exposed workers are. Uh, they're unlikely, because they're all up and down the Central Valley, to come to Davis or to Sacramento to have physical exams. Even in local clinics, it's very difficult for them to get transportation. And so we feel that this is part of our mission to provide this sort of service to the farm worker community.